Yeah, my cat's a diesel engine. Zeos, how do you decide if you're gonna do a video? Am I wearing pants? Then there's a good chance. So let's unbox some stuff. And I wasn't gonna, but then other things started arriving and it's like, oh, all right. Phillips 9500S. Where does it say the S? Where are you? There. Ship 9500S. I'm going to open these up, run them through a couple hours, days of burning, and then I'm going to sit down with them and I'm going to make sure that the Phillips 9500s have not changed for the worse. Most people are saying it's just they changed the wire, but you put a letter on there for no reason, and I, I gotta question things too, so. Alexa, set the living room lights to maximum. Maximum. Okay. Cartoon voices, get her hot. Oh. That is a very, very sm that that's small. I want to know the actual cost to just have a big, like a six inch loop in a flat bag. Like they would, every Amazon cable that's like a dollar is like a nice six inch loop. <laughs> oh my God. Play with that Chewbacca. That is hilariously atrocious. All the other kids in the dun dun. Don't let the silica packet get eaten by your cat. They'll die. Still the tape there. That's good. The pads still feel like a Honda Civic. That's good. Which side is the right? I can't tell. I haven't worn these in just forever. I've got so many more things. <coughs> People ask me, which headphones do you use You know, when you're not reviewing things? And it's never any of those headphones because I'm always reviewing something. LCD 4s over there. Why would I listen to anything else unless it's comparing? All right. Tax stars do all the headphones. These were a slow boat from China, the Pro 82s. They are, in, this is insanely heavy. I have no idea what's in here. Let's find out. Oh, Tax Star, you shouldn't have. Now I've got two of these. Shit. Honestly, don't know what I paid for them. I will find, yes, just. Fuck all that shit up, Chewbacca. I will link to them, obviously, but... Oddly placed. More silica gel, don't let the cat eat. Wow. That is a soft, plush pad. It's not leather, but... That's... I'd ex that's premium pad, I'll tell you that off the bat. Metal, decent, plastic, exposed wire there, exposed wire here, yep, three and a half, no, two and a half millimeter, oh, it's got a base port, wow, that's a really quality feel, let's put them on. People were begging me, begging. Oh my God, they fit and they're light. Wow. These might be default. We're competing now with the ship 9500s for default comfort. Those, okay. Let's peek at the cable. Of course, if it's a specialty cable, which we know it is, make sure that doesn't suck. These are probably going to be a Patreon giveaway item. Unless they're fucking fantastic, in which case, screw the people who are paying me to live. I'll keep it for myself. It's a four pole. So we got a, a box, a legit, like, look at this foam laid out box. I guess you could take this stuff out. 
This might be glued though. Yeah, that's glued. And then a bag. And then a bag. Oh, 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 look at that. Why do you do this, Tackstar? Why do you always go and ruin my expectation? These are under 100 bucks, by the way. I, I know that much. I don't remember if they were 80 or 61, but they were less than 100. Yeah, you better freak out about a shadow here. Have a wire tie. Better than the Ship 9500 cable by an infinite amount, including tape around the quarter inch to protect the shine. Actually, I've got to unscrew this and then it'll come out. Interesting. Why? Is this really a thing? Is this really going to get damaged? Like when they wrap cars on trailers, I can understand it. It's actually caught under the actual gold. So we've got basically a straight cable that leads to a four pole two and a half millimeter. I don't know why. It would be fucking amaze balls if this was wired to be put in balance mode. And then I just have to make an adapter cable. I'm gonna have to test that somehow. Do I have a two and a half millimeter four pole that I could test with? Oh, I can't get over how comfortable these are. Like, Jesus Christ. Eh, hello, Audio Technica. You watching? Buy a set of Pro 82s and just whatever they're doing, buy it. Buy the whole fucking company. And fix all your goddamn uncomfortable fucking headphones. 40Xs are annoying and uncomfortable. 50s are uncomfortable. Everything's uncomfortable. Just steal shit from Taxstar or buy Taxstar. I'm sure they don't have them. Well, it's China. They could literally be run by the government of China. I'm putting these back in the box now. These are too nice to ruin. The ships are like, eh, throw them out. They let the cat fuck with them. These are not. These totally deserve a box. Glad I opened that on camera. I wanted you to feel, that's a good impression. So look back at things. <clears throat> all right, um, the iFind Nano, which he was like, oh, I'm gonna say something else. I'm like, all right, whatever. I'm not going to say no. IFI has delivered pretty goddamn consistent results, <clears throat> as far as I'm concerned. I don't actually know... I, I know what this is. The, uh, the, the Nano i1 DAC is aimed at those who yearn for better sound quality from their existing home system, such as NVIDIA Shield, Google Chromecast, 4K television, and so forth. It's ideal for all this shit, so why are we ideal? Oh, I'd like to finish. More silica packets. Don't eat the silica packets. Right. Make sure she doesn't eat that. I think they're just playing with finishes now. And Oh, I like it. Those are transparent, and that's transparent. I'm assuming there's a remote control involved, because there's no other reason for that to be there. If this has a remote, I may have to buy it. Although I don't know where they're fitting this remote. I think you've never seen me unpack an IFI thing. It's just layers of boxes, fake tabs, cat. All right. For some reason, IFI always comes with a little set of IFI cables. They say IFI, little purple bastards. Look at them. I appreciate it. You know how many questions I get of, hey, does it come with speaker wire or anything? I'm like, no. So full USB 3 mini short cable, well, full size USB 3. Spitif adapter. This, that is coaxial digital or Spitif 35 millimeter. Don't lose that. Sorry, I'm not sure. Did I ask you anything? What are you not sure about? Oh, by the way, she's using the Vanity T1s. I'm sorry, she's using the Vanity T0s as her Bluetooth uh, voice. So nice. Four little baby, f oh my God, the feet are even branded IFI. The little silicone feet are branded IFI. 
They should cut. No, I, I, audience, I'm sure this video will have 4,000 views at some point. Has any product ever come with the logo on a temporary tattoo? That's what I want to know. That's the question of the day. So no remote control, even though that's clear. And then you get, so you actually are powering it through that massive USB input with a, I'll drop it, 500 milliamp, five volt. That's, that's gonna be the least convenient, I mean, it's super short too. And you gotta get a full USB three, so it's like, this might be the least convenient power source for a DAC. I mean, it's robust though, but I mean, that's, that's not giving you a lot of freedom. I mean, you can get one of the, I'll, when I review it, I'll have to link to a longer wire because I have like a six foot or a nine foot length of this. So why is it transparent here if it's not picking up infrared? Listen, measure or filter. The front of this is plastic. Or rear of this is plastic. I am okay with this. Input, you got Bluetooth, USB and SPDIF. Got a pairing button, and I guess it's maybe LEDs just to light it up. I won't know till I till I actually plug it in. All right. Shit, I need to put all this back so that I could mail this back to IFI. Mm hmm. Oh, shut up, tractor. Okay, I need all that out. This can go away. Oh, I fucked up. Sorry, Lawrence. The feet I have to take out to talk about in the review. The, the fact that everything is literally labeled IFI is adorable. That there, that there, all this paperwork, all the silica gel, all the covers and in, out, Jesus, so much stuff. Put you up here. It's just, the box literally explodes. Throw away some garbage now. What does the booklet say for the tax stars? Where are you? Oh, the different frequency response graphs. So base three basically kills you. There's a rather large dip around three or four thousand. Okay. Techstar. Product quality certificate. April 1st, 2017. This, this was a Kickstarter I backed. This is the Z. Ha 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 And it's a mouse. I think it cost me like $150 to back it. But it's got like, <clears throat> I can't, I just have to look it up. You're just gonna have to look it up. Because this mouse is insane. This mouse is insane. It's called the Z. All right, I couldn't not buy it or back it. So is this attached? That's attached. Everything's numbered, labeled, that's a tilt. It'll pivot, it'll front, oh my God. Let's take out the mouse pad and look at that first. By the way, one of the best run Kickstarter campaigns. Just email every month or so, maybe a little bit more recently with the shipping coming up. They always told you what was happening. They're always responsive to whatever you ask them. I hate mouse pads that come rolled up because they're always in that shape forever. Dude. It's nice and soft. Probably means it's just thin. Need that. Thank you for supporting. The Z is a very powerful. will give you more ways to configure. I'm going to basically throw up when I try to configure this mouse. Here's a quick start guide. Look at this, look at it, oh. 
package nice. Here are the trigger caps. Hope that's supposed to click. Oh, it does click. Well, I'll have to. T I gotta pull it out. I gotta pull it out. Or I'm, I don't want to lose any of this shit. Jesus Christ. Long finger chip cap. Uh, uh, just throw it right in the garbage. I can't handle this. This is the coolest part, though. It's a machined aluminum mouse wire holder that will literally just shoot the wire up. Tractor. This is gonna require effort. I may actually do a separate video just trying to set this thing up, because I don't, how does it even? What's that? That's oh, this wire tie, okay. I'll give you a hell of a long mouse cord. Sensors covered, leave it that way. Just, just, uh, oh. This, oh, that's the screen there. I know these are, these are click buttons. These are click buttons here, and these are click buttons here. And it's, it'll, it has tilt sensors and everything else. All right. The Z gets its own full review, possibly on the big channel even. I, I don't even just come off but I got I must come off I have to take off the wire ties do I have to damage it to get it off that would sort of suck all right you know what I don't have the head for this and I'm trying to do an unboxing video quick start guides and thank you notes and that that mouse This is why I started the unboxing video. To talk about peanuts and how it's 20 fucking 17 and no one needs to have fucking peanuts. Ideally, you'd have a shop vac with like a six inch hose and you could just go and get all these out of here. Flammable liquid, begged by Sharon. Sharon, give me a call. This, wow, those are little screws and everything, is a Holden, division of Holden, Commodore rear window spoiler. So if you ever watch Mad Max, the last of the V8 interceptors has got a spoiler on the trunk and a spoiler on top of the rear window. This is sort of like that. It is actually see-through, interesting. I gotta pull it out. And my rear, the ass of my car needs a spoiler or something, but I'm gonna start with this. I don't know if I'm gonna have a video of me putting this on. It's important notice. Read fitting instructions carefully before primer must be used for installation. No warranty is applied without correct use of primer. Primer what? Genuine GM Holden. Made in Australia. Fuck yes. Just like my baby. So this is basically going to double stick to the rear window and just be like a little lip spoiler over there. But I, being a dick, want to sort of jank it up a little bit. Just give it like maybe a half inch lip here or three eighths inch lip. So it'll be a little bit more stupidity of aggressive. All right, I'm going to read instructions thoroughly before I deal with this. It was $145, by the way, for a piece of plastic. I'm not proud of that fact. I don't fucking believe it. I don't fucking believe it. This cancer is spread now. Did anyone else witness that? 
that it, it hit the garbage pail. The garbage pail opened to accept the fidget spinner. Fucking fidget spinner. Work, class, home. I guarantee you these are not allowed in class. I went to high school. You can't have a fucking fidget spinner. Yeah, you know, I'm just gonna rotate this thing like the entire period. Is that okay, teach? Okay, so there's multiple bearings. It's all right. Let's analyze the fidget spinner. All right, fidget spinner analyzed. Moving on to actual shit. You want to fidget with something in class? It's called your dick. All right, you'll get more use out of that. I guarantee you. I got to make sure I go to vidgif, imagery.com/vidgif. You can watch me drop that fidget spinner on my fucking Chinese food container. I bought air conditioners. I had air conditioners. I have an eight and a six, and they're old. My roommate left them. He's like, here, I don't need them. So I was using the six in that room and the eight in this room. To, but this room, you know, has to deal with my bedroom over there in the kitchen. And when the projector's on and when that amp is running and those amps. So the other problem I had is they're fucking noisy. Any of you who've watched my reviews for more than a year know that when the summer comes, the background of my reviews is like this. And then we talk about a header. So hopefully that little six doesn't have to be used and I could use these nice LG 10,000s. Because that was another problem. If I shut off the one in that room, this, even with a fan blowing in there, couldn't cool the apartment off when it's 90 degrees out. So I bought two 10s. They're $250 a piece. I think I got them at BJ's. And I had them both. Both of these fit in the tr back seat of my Caprice because that car is a fucking animal. And now we'll have a little lip spoiler. Animal lip spoiler. And uh, this investment should be quiet. Now, whether I mount them top window is is not yet known because here's the thing did i lose a battery this does take two batteries right hold on no it takes one battery that means it's probably gonna die in a, like two days mm. oh the strongest battery fucking wrap ever my air conditioners, if you watch my old videos, top of the windows. A couple reasons for that. In this living room, it's important because when that projection screen comes down, no air escapes from behind it. So in the summertime, if I put the projection screen down, then I've got the amps and the projector and the stove and the air conditioner can't blow in. So I put the air conditioner in the top of the window, which made it you know, not get in the way. And up here is also, here's where the hot air is. You're, you're living here in the middle of the room and you're probably your legs are down here at the floor. Cold air falls, but air conditioners are not here to throw cold air. They're here to get rid of hot air. They take your hot air and convert it to cold air. But if your air conditioner is here, it's taking your lukewarm air and converting it to cold air and it's not doing jack shit about the top hot air. Ideally, you want your air conditioner as high in your room as you can get. So top of the window. Now I'm not sure if it's going to be worth doing it with a 10,000, but I would like to put it in the top of the window. Number, another reason is I also get to keep using the window. If I have the air conditioner here, then this gets to open like that much and I would never do it. But if the air conditioner is up there, I could lift this up a few inches on a spring-like on a spring -like day and not a hot ass day. Plus I can still look out in the street. You put an air conditioner there, it darkens the shit out of the room because this is, this is wet, this is life is out here. And I want to be able to look like it'll be here, the air conditioner, if I put it up top. And this will all still be window versus just dark tree. I like looking out my windows because I'm a creeper. Now, that, here's my warranty and serial numbers. Here's all this shit in case this thing doesn't turn on. Do not drill holes in this product. I'm gonna totally fucking drill holes in this product. You, can, you just wait. Another thing is the, the eight and the six were not sleeved units. They had to go in the windows total. So it was a matter of like a ladder and using my doom stack and then lifting an entire air conditioner up and putting it in and mounting it. Where this with a sleeve means if I'm gonna put it on the top, I could mount the sleeve on top at my leisure, weighing like 12 pounds and then lift up a heavy unit and slide it in there after I think it's secure. 
This is probably the least important, impressive thing. Well, that's, that break? Nope, all right. Also, I hate these vent things never fucking do anything. They'd have to be three times as long. They could, there's better ways to do this, air, air conditioning manufacturers. Up and down works, because it's so massive, but the left and right really are only like a half guide. Maybe I'll extend those, what I use. I like the filter. Filter pops out from the front, I assume. Actually, is that actually, oh. Oh, that's beautiful, LG. I approve. That thing's in the way. So, am I actually taking this out on camera? This would sort of indicate I'm getting ready to install it. All right, fuck it. My camera dies right now, I don't have to do it. If it dies right now. I love when this styrofoam starts getting like skin problems. What a delicate piece of plastic to cover that air conditioner. I'm gonna have to look through this goddamn packing shit for more fidget spinners. Make sure none of them are in this house. Hmm. Where'd I put my kniffy down? My bullets. Are air conditioners worth it? Uh, I don't know. Are you hot in the winter, in the summertime? Then they're fucking worth it. So we've got the side skirts, some foam. Some felt strips, two rest brackets, a bunch of other shit. Another thing that says don't drill holes in this product. I'm gonna. S I don't follow instruction because I'm a badass, and that just means drill holes in everything. Oh, winter panels. Cool, right? This bag is not a toy. This bag is going to suffocate your children. This bag is the devil. I think these are to cover those. Very excellent. It's the first one I've gotten with those. That sort of stuff. All right. Here's the test. If I can lift this up out of the box, I'll put it in the top of the window and I'll make a video about doing it. If I can't lift this up out of the box, it's too heavy. I'm going to put it in the bottom of the window and hope for the best because I'll still be able to shoot it towards the wall. It just won't be as efficient as if I put it in the top of the window. Or since I have four windows, should I get two more of these, have 40,000 BTUs and live like an ice fridge king. An ice fridge king. All right, can I grab from there? Uh, that's definitely the, fi that's bad back there. That's the actual. Best knife ever. All I want to do is, oh my god, slice is so nice. Twelve, two deer and twelve squirrels sold. And it's a brand new blade too. Yeah, there's no reason to be, I mean, unless this is broken, in this case I'll put it back in this box. First I'll make sure this works. Okay, so now let's pull it out of the, sl actually I gotta still gotta get it out of the, uh, of course it is. It's not too bad actually. Energy guide, $74 a year, whatever. Electricity is cheap here in PA because you actually get to choose your provider. So I pay like eight or nine cents a kilowatt hour. Which means never shut these off. Is it screwed in? That's 
definitely a sleeved unit. Big, big fan. Big fan, big fan. Oh, wow, the face, I didn't even notice that the face is actually a digital connection that goes there. Why are you not come out? Oh, there are screws. Interesting, so you could put it in at one piece or you could unscrew it. Well, I am unscrewing it on camera. I'll show you if I ceiling mount that or top mount that. You know what? My only concern is, if you put it on the bottom, there's something there. Put it on the top, there's nothing there. I'd have to put the shield, I gotta put the shield in, sticking out the window, I can get it, it doesn't weigh anything because it's gonna be empty. And then I have to go and I have to put something either to the bottom and to the ass, or to the wall and to the ass. Just so it's, I wouldn't feel right about having, because there's people and children and shit downstairs, and I am actually a human being that cares about them. So, the issue being, when you're doing that, the screens don't exist and bugs will fly in here and eat me. So that's literally like my main concern is getting eaten by bugs. And my apartment's a fucking disaster again. Thank you for watching. I'll try to remember what I opened and where I put it all, the IFI stuff and headphones and text. So yes, to the, till the next unboxing of God knows what, hopefully no more fidget spinners.